Hello, hello, let's and girls. This is Lord Kicker, and welcome back to another episode of Case Nine Monstrum Nox. Okay, so let's see. We have his father's son, and uh, final di disposition. So I think we're gonna do uh, this one. Let's teleport over here. This seems like a good idea. Feels like we're getting very close to the end, though. Why did it teleport me here? Wait. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button, of course. Here we go. here this place looks fancier every time i walk in yes it's not all uh, that when uh, you're living on a big time doctor salary though well jules let's go see what your mum has to say he yeah, yeah. I'm back. Just a second. I'll be right down. Well, well, look at you, Jules. You brought all your little friends home with you. Come in, come in. Oh, you'll have to forgive me for not tidying up. <laughs> no worries, ma'am. Th that's okay. Sorry for not telling you we were coming. Ah, oh, your mom's just the sweetest, isn't she? I'm jealous. Sweet. Is that what you call it? I'd say that too, though. Oh, yes, yes, I did spot someone in town who looked just like your father. But I didn't... But it didn't take long before I lost him in the crowd. I didn't want to disappoint you if it turned out I was mistaken, Jules. That's why I didn't mention it. I hope you can forgive me. It's nothing to be sorry about. That said, how did you know? I saw someone who looked like your father in the first place. I figured I had nothing to lose asking the monstrums for help, but... Um, well... Oh, I get it. That's just how powerful our mother-son bond is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, let's just leave it at that. Yeah, sure. More importantly, this man you saw was over in the central district, right? Yes, that's right. 
I believe he was just on his way out of Balduk Cathedral. But there were so many people there that I ended up losing track of him. I'll probably go down as the biggest mistake of my life. Boo hoo hoo. Let's see. So there truly are people out there. There, who cry boo hoo hoo. Uh, anyway, if Dr. Noah really did leave from the cathedral. Right. All we have to do is ask if anyone saw him there. Let's go, Adel. Oh, and Jewel Steer. If you do happen to run into your father, promise you won't force him to come back. What? Why? Because I trust him. Your father would never leave us without a good reason. I may not know what or why exactly, but that much I can say for sure. There's no way you can know that. Oh, but I do. I'm a lot more receptive than I look, you know. You should never underestimate a mother, especially not yours, young man. Now promise me, Jules, alright? He said nothing. All right. I believe we are about to head out in a in a search of adventure. Here we are, the cathedral. This is Balduk Cathedral, the Hieroglyph Church. Right, and the last place that Jules' father, I mean Dr. Noah, was seen coming out of. Oh, good to see you again. Oh, Father Ralph. Thank you for coming. And it seems you've brought Credo. Hmm. <laughs> Let's move somewhere more private for our discussions, shall we? Yes, I know Dr. Noah well. He was the one we called whenever worship fell ill. A worshipper fell ill. However, I regret that I don't know if he's come to the cathedral lately. That's okay. Sister Mel, would you happen to know anything? I'm not sure if he's the same person you're looking for. But I recall seeing a rather strange man here just recently. Do you remember anything else about him? By any chance? Hmm. He came by asking... To see some old medicinal records. The church keeps all of its records from the past, you see. I remember him because I thought it was such an unusual request. 
after I procured them for him. He pursued them as if in a frenzy. Sounds a lot like that. And where did he go after that? That was another peculiar thing. He said he had business at the ancient shrine outside town. Thought he seemed like a doctor, but maybe he was an archaeologist? Ancient shrine. Maybe the North Shrine? Yeah, most likely. And uh, we've been there before. Okay then. Time to relieve some fond memories. Relive some fond memories. Hey, you foul. Mom said that we didn't need to force him home, right? Then our work's done, isn't it? We already know he's alive. We're not going to force anyone to do anything. But we're so close. You can't quit while you're ahead, Jules. Huh? You two need to have a heart to heart. Wasn't that one of your nails in the coffin? Okay, cool. Alright, let's travel over here. We're going places today. Here we go. Let's talk. Dad. Jules, how did you know I was here? Is there something you all needed to speak with me about? You explain the that Pamela had uh, been searching for him ever since she saw him in the city. It's been a long time, so I know how difficult it is to see her. Either way, you know Mom's never going to stop looking for you. Ah, so she did see me. I should have been more discreet. If you don't mind me asking, Dr. Noah. What are you doing here? Ah, right. Do you see this plaque behind me? Inscribed on it is a record of diseases throughout history. Oh. I came to see if I could find anything useful. Oh, I see. You were looking for a way to cure jewels. What? <laughs> Am I really that transparent? Still. <laughs> This might be a good opportunity for me to explain everything to you all. You deserve to know what happened. It was many years ago, long before I knew anything about homunculi. I came to learn of an institution that fostered war orphans. That was where I first met you, Jules. I was a war orphan? Yes. Aprilis had entrusted the four of you to that orphanage. She couldn't take care of you on her own. It was her last resort. That's understandable. Indeed. It was in that orphanage where we met Jules. You should have seen how happy Pamela was. After all, she couldn't bear children of her own. 
Mom couldn't have children? Unfortunately not. But I know that she loved you more because of it. The years after we adopted you were the happiest of our lives. When you became ill, it devastated your mother. That's when I promised her that I would find a cure for you. Dad... One day, in my desperate search to find a treatment, a man approached me. That man was an alchemist named Zola. Papa... He told me who he was and asked for my help in his alchemy research. It was then he revealed to me that you, Jules, were a homunculus. I thought that if I helped him, I would eventually find a way to cure your disease. I had no idea. But why did you have to leave us? The hero you were created from suffered from the same disease as you. I surmised that the hero's body would lead me to more clues about the disease. Interesting. However, Zola kept a firm grip on his research. As a condition for becoming his adjutant, I was forbidden from leaving the prison. Dad. It's not your fault, Jules. Oops. Being sick isn't ever anyone's fault. Believe me, my deepest regret is leaving you and your mother without saying goodbye. Jules, there's something you've been wanting to say, isn't there? You don't have to wait anymore. Yufa! Hmm. Dad. To tell you the truth, there were many things I wanted to say to you when I saw you again. I wanted to tell you how much I despised you. How much I hated you. But now, how could I say any of those things? Jules. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> For taking care of me. <laughs> For being my dad. <laughs> and for trying to find a cure for me. Thank you. Man, this is very touching. Uh, Jules. As a doctor, it would be imprudent of me to be too optimistic. But I'm progressively coming to understand your disease. There's still a chance for a cure. I will do everything in my power to save you. <laughs> Dad. Good thing you two finally hashed it out. Hey, by the way, what kind of research were you helping Zola with exactly? Ah, I was looking for ways to extract memories from a person's soul. That research allowed me to create the primordials and monsters from Adol's memories. That explains a whole lot. I imagine Zola plans on taking this research even further. Even further. But what about Shadowlard? I thought you two were working together. You must mean how Shadowlard gathered those with desirable talents in the prison. That was Zola's plan all along. He was merely using Master Shadowlard. Zola was the one who truly needed them. In spite of that, he rarely shows himself in the prison nowadays. I'm afraid even I don't know what he planned on doing with him. Whatever it was, I'm sure it wasn't anything good. Yeah, probably. Hmm. Zola is an unforgiving man, if his treatment of Shadowlord was any indication. But if you ask me if he were evil, I wouldn't be able to tell you. 
He sincerely believes his actions are just, regardless of the implications. You mean he's a whack job, the kind you stay away from. That may be true. I admit, I have my fair share of blame for your hardships, Monstrums. For that, I apologize. It wasn't your fault. You saved my life. It wasn't your fault. I understand that an apology alone is not enough for me to be forgiven. But I will work to set things right. I trust you. Dad. I'll go see your mother soon, Jules. You have my word. My son is fighting his best even when sick. It's only right that I work just as hard. After it's all over, we'll go back to how it was. You, me, and your mother. Well, that sounds very good. I think he liked that too. No, at all. Zola is profoundly fascinated with you. You have no reason to trust me, but I suggest that you be careful. Now then, it's nearly sunset. I'd better return to the prison. You'll have to excuse me. Dad? Um... You be careful, too. Yes. I will. Hey. Good for you, Jules. Indeed. Yeah. Um... Thanks. I should thank you guys, too. We're all happy for you, Jules. Your dad is a good person after all. I believe there is much I can learn from him as well. <sighs> yeah, yeah, he's all right. Can we go back to town now? Ah, <laughs> uh, love Greedo. I see. So it wasn't your father I saw after all. Yeah, unfortunately not. I've sworn I caught a glimpse of him. Face and all, but... Must have been mistaken. I suppose it's time I finally threw in the towel on it, on this. Oh no, don't be so glum, Jums. I don't know how it... All went, of course, but I imagine I can... Arched, I guess. Your father he just isn't quite ready to see me again. Yet, is he? Um. Thank you for humoring me, Jules. The same goes for the rest of you as well. It isn't much, but I'd like you to have this. We appreciate your kindness. Of course, sweetie. Think nothing of it. Now, I suppose I ought to get back to cooking. See, I've uh, been working on a very special little festival day treat for everybody. We stop by to deliver it later, so try not to spoil your appetite. We won't. Thanks again, Miss Noah. Well, that's that. Ever since my dad said he'd come home someday. I've been keeping it from my mum, but I guess she figured out that we were hiding something from her anyway. Seems so. Call it a mother's intuition. I wonder if that means Dr. Noah might be able to come home sooner than he thought. Would have wife that understanding, I bet she'd even be fine with all the alchemy stuff. 
I'm not so sure about that. Either way, whether or not he does is entirely up to him. It's when I take mom's feelings into account that things get a little more complicated. Yeah, I know what you mean. In any event, now that we uh, reported back, shall we attend to our remaining matters? Oh, what a snooze fest. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, with that, I'm gonna end off this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.